Makeup is fun. Makeup is fun. Makeup is fun. Makeup is fun. But what? But what? But what happens when it comes off? When it comes off. When it comes off. When it comes off. everybody and welcome to salt we are here with you today just to talk to you a little bit about beauty and what is beauty i mean <laughs> underneath your makeup and all of those great things how well are you really taking care of your skin you know yeah, yes are you really preserving what god has given you those are some of the things that we're going to be talking about today on this episode of all things beautiful but i kind of wanted to start because i had a thought right while i was driving what in. Are you thinking? i wanted to think like okay we talk a lot about what we would do in certain situations mm -hmm. and so on and so forth and then this whole you know the kermit the frog thing where you yes. sit to and things so oh, i'm just thinking me. yeah <laughs> so i'm thinking if you really found yourself in these peculiar situations would you sip or would you speak? Ooh, okay. I like that. I'll, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an okay. example. Okay. You go out and you see your friend's man that looks like he's on a date with someone else. Okay. He's clearly with another female, but okay. you're not sure who okay. she is. Would you sip on that and not say anything? Okay. Or would you speak? Now, if you're going to sip, sip your. Wait, he's my friend's man? Is he my friend too? He's your friend's man. Okay. So would you sip or speak? I'll go first. I will speak and I will speak very loud. Well. <laughs> that is what would happen. Yes. Because the way that I see it is that's my friend. Yes. And I, the kind of friendships that I have with people, I mean, my my friends and I, we are very close and and we have the kind of relationship that we're very honest. Yes. Where, but there's been times where, of course, we've hurt each other's feelings because of the honesty. But we always under underneath it all, we oh. know that truth mm -hmm. comes above all things. And I know that I can never keep that to myself. It would, no. I would, I, because at that point, I'm like, my friend deserves better. She deserves to know the truth. Yes. And if that were me, I would want my friend to tell me because if I found out later that you knew you didn't tell okay. me, oh, I'd be so mad. Yeah. I would be mad. Yes. And I wouldn't even at that point question, do you really care about me yeah. as a person? Do you care about me yeah, as my friend? I would, I mean, I would speak so clear. So, <laughs> so quickly. So I'm quickly. Right I'd be like, I'm girl, let me tell what happened. So I quick. Agree. I would definitely speak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends for me. Because um, I know me and my husband both work in professional arenas. Mm -hmm. And so we actually are out sometimes with the opposite sex. And so without jumping to conclusion, if I saw my girlfriend's husband or man out with um, the opposite sex, I would first introduce myself and negate how that was even done. Mm -hmm. So if it was like, oh, hey, L.A., like, don't, mm -hmm. you know, don't say nothing else. Then I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm speaking up then. Well, how's your wife? Or how's yeah. your girl? Yeah. But if it's like, hi, I'm like, this is Michelle. And, you know, da, 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 we work together. Da, da, da. Then I'm more than likely going to sip my tea and go about my business. Yeah. Because it's like, no, that like could have been a professional relationship. I like but I don't want to go haywire and ruin a connection that was probably really vital to their business. Yeah. 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 No, and well, I appreciate the fact that you were giving that perspective of professional because I didn't think that at all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I think um, I kind of see it as well, even outside of like it being professional. I I would have to first figure out kind of, okay, what is this looking like here, you yeah. know, based on introductions mm -hmm. and so on and so forth because I wouldn't want to say something and like, you know, put an idea mm -hmm. 
in my friend's mm-hmm. head that has nothing to do at all yeah. with what's yeah. going on. Yeah, you're real careful. Yeah, you just yeah. have to be very, yeah, very sure. careful. But it is it is a topic of discussion. Yeah. So yeah. And you can tell by body language. Yeah, you can tell. You can tell by body language. If it's some of these holding hands, whatever. Yeah. Okay, speak. But if it's, you know, you see it's real life. Okay, yeah. great. So let's pull out the pens yeah. and we're getting things yeah. together. Yeah. So, uh, there's a right way and a wrong way to do everything. Yeah. You know, be case by case, you know? Okay. <laughs> okay, what about what about the scenario? So say you're at like a football game or something and you guys are sitting next to a couple. And so when you get up to the rush, you get up to go to the bathroom, you actually see like one of the people from the couple, either the man or the woman, actually like flirting with somebody else, like ho- like obviously flirting. And so you go back to your seat and then you see them with the person that came with, you know, like, would you speak on that? So they're both strangers to you. Yeah. Would you, you know, help the girl out? Like. <laughs> that's, that's the answer you right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> I don't don't know you. I'm not trying because, you know, people have really funky relationships. And I would never want to put myself in a situation where I could compromise my own safety. You don't know how crazy people are. No, seriously. You don't don't know. I'm from LA. We're from LA. You know. Yeah. Like, people are crazy. Like, shit, you traffic. Yeah. I mean, that's true. So, uh, at that point, I would just. Keep it, keep it, my Okay, so I have one. Okay. Say you see a woman walk in confidently, strutting it, getting it together. You know, she knows she looks good. Yeah. She's just getting it out. But then you see her sales tags hanging out the back. Wow. Are you sipping? Are you going to be like, hey, girl, I know you looking, you feel like you're looking good, but. Yeah. Oh, that clearance shirt. No, I'm definitely gonna speak because I do that now. If I see somebody's pack out, if I see a piece of tissue on your foot, if I see, you know, your your track and your weave, you know, like I'm gonna say something, and it doesn't necessarily even have to be me actually saying it. I might actually go and fix it for you. Yeah, I've done that many times, just like tuck the tag yeah. in, or just you know, hey girl, let me fix that for you real fast. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I think that yeah. you should do that. I mean, I would yeah. want somebody. I hate when I have like something in my teeth or like blatantly on my face, and then like. Been like that all day. I'll go to the bathroom and I'm just like, dang, I've been around like 20 years. Nobody said nothing. I hate that. And so I want to be that person for somebody else. I would do the same. I would do the same. I think before I wouldn't. Like before I would have been like, oh, you cute. You're like, dang. Like, dang. You know? Um, But I think now I probably like, hey, sister girl, like, you know, you might want to fix that or do the compliment for us girl that's cute oh let me get that for you real fast girl oh you got this from such and such you can make it you can make it smooth yeah Yeah, I agree (laughs) Um, what about and this is kind of like a more controversial one let's say it's a place at work Um, it's an office setting and you find out that your boss is having an affair with one of your co-workers what do you do <laughs> wow! Like I, I said, like I, I said, because you said my boss. Yeah, that's your money. <laughs> that's your yeah, money. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. That's tough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I and I am very conscious of seeing who people associate themselves with. Now, if I'm in my boss's associative um circle, mm-hmm. then I definitely will be like, you need to be what careful. What did you know that wasn't? That wasn't your wife. You okay. Know, or that you said those flowers. If you're friends yeah. with the person that, yeah. that the boss is messing with, you can be like, you doing what? Is that why? Is that why? Try to lead them but if I'm not in their <laughs> associate circle, because I know certain things, you know, mm-hmm. you know, people, the em- employer doesn't want their employees to even dabble in. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? They want them to stay in a professional place. Right. You know? Yeah, yeah. And so if you, if you have to cross that, level to be friends or associates close associates then no no yeah. sipping i'm exactly. sipping exactly. my tea <laughs> girl let me tell you something crazy that happened to me a couple years ago actually several years ago but i was on a plane um 
And there was this couple sitting next to me and, you know, they were all giggly. Like they looked like they were just like so in love. And, you know, they like got up and went to the bathroom on the plane. Like, so you already know what they're doing is joining the Mile High Club. But um, so me being who I am, I asked them like, oh, how long have you been married? So they were telling me how long and they were like different years. And they were like, oh, we're married, but not to each other. And I was like, what? Like, are you serious? Are you serious right now? And they were just so like, almost like happy about bamboozling their spouses. Matter of fact, their spouses actually trusted them together because they were best friends. What? Definitely think I would have said something if I had the chance. Um, because I just think that is so wrong. Like that is so wrong. But at that time I didn't say anything. I sipped on that, I sipped on that tea. Cause I was just like, uh, this is the most awkward situation I've ever been in, in my life. Welcome back. <laughs> um, we are talking about beauty and today we have in our presence an extraordinaire when it comes to beauty and makeup, right? Okay. Yes. It is such an honor to have our Nite guy with us. Yay! Yay! Just to give you a little background, our Nite is, first of all, makeup artist to the star. She has 20 years of beauty industry experience, um, is an amazing woman, and if I may add, has two global product lines. One's called Sweet Air Cosmetics, which is a cosmetic line, which mm -hmm. all your really cool colors make up very trending things too. And she has a skincare line called Annika's Butter. Thank you, yes. Arnita, Thank you so for much. being with us. Thank you so much for being here. Yes. So, Arnita, if you could please, just tell us a little bit about who you are, what you do, and why skincare is so important to you. Hello, my name again is Arnita. Um, I am a global esthetician. What that is, is basically, I believe in skincare because I grew up with horrible skin. I had a daughter that had skin issues and I didn't want anyone that I come across to have to deal with picking, getting picked at at school when I knew so much about skin. And my thought was, okay, I know enough about it. Now it's time to put that into action and keep it fresh. And like you say, trendy for everyone to want to do. Cause I was that kid that had to soak in that stinky bath stuff. Ew. It was ill. <laughs> so I was like, no, let me find out the science and let me put it into a package that looks great for anyone that wants to use. And so that's what I did. And I just studied it and I just keep it fresh and I go overseas because they get the information before we do wow. and I wow. put it into the U.S. So we have several questions for you, as you can imagine. Um, <laughs> I am dying to know, what is one product that you just cannot live without? The one product I cannot live without is a hydrating tonic, and which in layman's terms would be a toner that has some oomph behind it, meaning it's going to do two things. It's dual. It's going to cleanse my face. It's not going to dry me out. And it's going to balance my skin because we've all been through acne okay. yes. or at least one yeah. bump or break yeah. out your entire yeah. life. Yeah. So I want something that I can put on. I don't want 5,000 steps. I just want that right. one thing. Yeah. And so it's yeah. a tonic. And I happen to have that in Sweet Air's line. And oh, it's a, awesome. a gel. It's an aloe gel, basically. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So, So talking about cleansing, then, I always wanted to know. Should you wash your face with your hands or should it be a, a yes. rag or is there something that you should be washing your face with yeah. or, you know, what's up with that? That's an awesome question. I get that a lot. And that's the first question when I'm doing a consultation, I ask my clients, what do you use to help walk me through what you do? Mm -hmm. And so I say it depends on your skin type. And it's real simple. If you're shedding and flaking, I would want you to use a rag. If you're not and you have normal skin, no flaking and oiliness, then use your hands. Oh. But the key is with a rag, you have to throw that rag away and wash mm. it. You cannot reuse that rag. And that's the biggest mistake with a rag. It's just really simple to use your hands. You're born with them. They're always there. You don't have to worry about it. Just make sure they're clean. Why does the well, rag need to be thrown away? It needs to either be thrown away or sterilized because you're pulling bacteria off your face. Oh, we detox, sense. we sweat, those germs, they're on the rag. Even though you rinse it out, it's still sitting on the yes. rag and growing to whatever else wow. the next day. Okay. And you're going to put that back on Fresh your face. Trash. That's, 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 <laughs> that's, 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 that's So I have another question. What do you okay. think about the Clarisonic? 
I absolutely love the Clarisonic. Oh, really? Yes. And not the knockoff versions. The Clarisonic is one of those that does what's called oscillating. It moves back mm -hmm. and forth. It gets the grit without turning and tearing your skin. Oh, the key okay. with the with the Clarisonic is make sure you change your brush heads just like you would your teeth br you toothbrush every three okay. months. And okay. so you get into trouble if you keep those heads past those three months. Okay. But it's a great awesome. product to use. Awesome. Well, I wanted to know what what are the dangers of actually sleeping with makeup on? Awesome question. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Because usually that's one I have to train people on. Um, you've gone. We're in Atlanta, and no matter where you go, typically you're gonna go into exhaust or there's yes. a car. So imagine the car or the guy that you pass by this smoking, uh -huh. all of those ashes and all that car dust is sitting on top of your makeup, yes. oh. which almost acts like glue. Ew. And then you go to sleep in it. Sleep is the oh, time that we digest, just like food. Yes. Our skin digests whatever's on our face. So I would rather you not wash your face in the morning than not wash your face at night. So whatever's wow. on your face, your, yeah, your makeup, yeah. From the night before, as soon as you walk in the door, that needs to be biblical yeah. for yeah. you. It what? needs to be ritualistic. <laughs> yeah. Because you're really digesting good. whatever's on your face. Yeah, so Makeup just and just absorbing it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> even talking about that, so you talked about toners before and things like that. Are there ingredients in our own kitchen that we can oh, use yeah. as a really yeah, good right. toner yeah, for yeah, our skin? Yes. There, there, there is. Most okay. people just don't, you know, we get into the DIY phase and then we fall off. So yes. <laughs> the best three ingredients are really simple. Chamomile tea, distilled oh. water or spring water, something filtered, and lemon juice. The problem oh. is the concentration. So okay. just like you're getting ready to make a cup of tea, mm -hmm. eight ounces of water mm -hmm. with chamomile tea, steep it for whatever the directions say, three to five minutes. And that means just soaking oh, yes. it in there. Uh -huh. And then you put a half a teaspoon of lemon juice. Okay. That will last you a week. Oh, Don't what? try and keep it for 12 months. Okay. It's not a product that's going to have <laughs> shelf life. Okay. Yeah. And then you're going to be putting mold. But yeah, that'll be a you, weekly what thing. What do you apply that with? A cotton ball or oh. either a lint-free um, cloth. And just, oh, awesome. it's a nice cleanser. It's <laughs> acidic <laughs> enough to dis disinfect your skin and just yeah. kind of not strip all of your moisture wow. that you need. Now I have like two boxes of chamomile. Right. Right. No. I want to go over my face. Yeah. <laughs> now I got it. Now I got it. <laughs> Is it bad to use uh, apple cider vinegar? I hear about that. It's temporary and you need to know what phase your skin is. So okay. again, with the outbreaks, if you have a bump, it's okay to use it temporary, and you need to dilute it. If you use it full strength, okay. you're going to wind up stripping some of the oil that you need oh, off, wow. and your skin is going to fight and try and oh, react, and you're wow. going to have a worst-case mm -hmm. scenario. You might wind up with flaking. Flaking then means wrinkles, and we don't want to no, even no. talk oh, about no, that no, at this age. No, no, no. <laughs> so let me, just, let me just tell you something. Earlier today, we had this little game that we played, okay. and it was it's a beauty game. Okay. Well, it's kind of like a beauty game. We can't make it a beauty game. Right. <laughs> it's called Sip or Speak. So nice. it really was formed basically off of this, you know, like this nationwide meme with Kermit the Frog with some Lipton tea and he's, yes. you know, sipping. Okay. And so um, basically it's like I give you a scenario. We're going to give you a couple of scenarios, maybe two or three. And you're going to let us know. If you're sip, like, oh, I'm not going to say anything. Or if you'll speak. And just go ahead and let that girl know. Okay? okay? okay. All right. So I have one. I have one. And it definitely is beauty related. The lipstick too. If you know <laughs> someone is talking and they're just, you know, going on. And maybe, you know, maybe they're really super confident about what they're talking about. And they have lisp lipstick on their teeth. Would you sip or would you speak? Well, the Virgo in me would have to come out and I would have to let my sister know and I would have to speak. <laughs> <laughs> I would subtly do it or a yeah. color aside. Yeah. That's, good. Right. That's a good friend right there. You like it. You can always be around that. Yeah. <laughs> what about if you actually have a conversation with someone and you just, you know, cut a whiff? Or maybe what they have for lunch from their breast. <laughs> Lord. Would you tell them that they're, you know, that they need to oh, come? So no, or like, what would, what would you do? Would you sit or speak on that? Oh, that's a good one. Well, <laughs> I guess first I would kind of try and bear it. 
<laughs> I think I would to probably sip and slide the mints at the same time. <laughs> yeah. It's hard. That's you hard. take one first and you're like, what's like, like, your right. no, yeah. 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 that? That's a hard one. No, you don't want to say no. No house on for No, I want six. Here is some for you. I got two for two. The best time yes. with you. You so have answered Thank so many so amazing questions. Seriously, I know for me, I feel educated. I'm gonna go get some chamomile tea. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 All those other great yeah. things. <laughs> so we thank you so so much for taking some time and educating us mm-hmm. on this yeah. stuff. We want you guys to go check out all the amazing yeah. products that she has to offer. In fact, if you want to show. Some of them, you can go ahead and share one or two of them right now. This is the Vital Hydrant Toner. I absolutely love this and my clients love this because this is something they can throw in their gym bag, they can pump out, and they can cleanse and tone their face and be pH balanced, meaning oh. no outbreaks from the gym. So I love it. It's yes. light and it's not heavy. Yeah. Um, the second favorite is the SPF. Um, with any woman, especially women of color, yeah. um, we have a tendency to grab an SPF and it leaves us purple streaks. So, ill, nobody wants to look no. streaked. This oh, does not have that, <laughs> that in there, but it does have minerals and it also protects you up to 30. Um, and the SPF, the lower the number, the less chemicals that are in there. Monica's butter is Monica's the butter that I created. My daughter was born um, about a year later, eczema occurred, and I had to go into deep, intense study about eczema. Um, I met my friend LA and she had eczema and so Annika's butter is that therapeutic cream that doesn't smell like medicine yeah. that you can actually wear and it doesn't show and it takes away that that trouble itch yes. and now I have a lotion that anyone can wear you don't have to just have um, eczema for it and it lasts all day. So let us know again where we can find these yeah. products and how we can maybe get in some information about you and where people can reach you. Absolutely. Sweetaircosmetics.com. Oh. A breath of sweet air. You can also catch me on Twitter, Sweet Air Makeup, or on Instagram at um, Sweet Air Cosmetics. Thank you so Thank much. You so much for being oh, here. So much. It's such a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining the Couch of Salt. Thank mm-hmm. you. Yes. I appreciate it. So we spoke and we sipped (laughs) and we learned so much about how to take care of our skin underneath our makeup. So don't forget to ask us about more beauty tips at our Twitter at Salt Talk Show. And thanks for letting us season your Sunday with salt. Okay, so you just finished watching the show. It was good, right? So go ahead and like it. Give it that thumbs up that we know you can go ahead and do. Next, I need you to comment. Let us know what you were thinking. And most importantly, I want you to share and subscribe. You see those? Share and subscribe. I'm going to get my phone out and share it in a few seconds. You should too.